position to rebuild the worst program in every single division of college football. Next up is the Big Ten, and the worst team in the Big Ten has to be Rutgers. There are a few options here, right? Rutgers is a two and a half star program, and they're an 81 overall. Northwestern is virtually the exact same thing, so I could have gone with them. There's also Maryland, who's a three star, and Indiana, who's a two and a half star, but out of these programs, I just feel like Rutgers is the worst. But it's good news, because I'm taking over, I'm gonna bring them to the national championship, and completely revive this team. That's the goal today. Now, I will say, I have something that's called recency bias, because when I think of Rutgers football, this is what I'm thinking of. 2-10, and 4-8, 1-11, and 2-10, 3-6, and six, right? All I've ever known is they suck. But take a look at this. Back in 05-06, Rutgers was kind of a powerhouse. An 11-2 and two season here, 8-5, and 8-5, and 9-4, then back-to-back nine and four seasons. That's the kind of program I want Rutgers to be again. I'm taking over as head coach. Let's see what we can do. First things first, what does the Rutgers roster look like? We have an insanely good halfback. Kyle Monen, God. Da, 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 da. Come on, guys. Could anybody in this game have the last name like Murphy? Smith could chill out. Dude is an absolute beast though. Five foot nine, two ten. He is a senior though. So this is our only season with him. In fact, these top 10 guys, top 15 guys are all seniors. This team is about to take a massive hit. Our quarterback also a senior, Ethan Kaliakmanis. Okay, he's hardly better than our backup. Our backup is a sophomore with 89 speed, 90 excel. And the backup has five abilities. And he's only a sophomore. 89 speed. Damn. You know what? I'm going to start a Johnny Shepard. We have a couple wide receivers in depth that are like really fast, like Dylan Braithwaite. Dude, what are the names on Rutgers? Bunch of fucking nerds over here. Oh my God. Our wide receivers are low-key pretty damn good. We have, oh my God, what is going on at Rutgers? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tight ends on the roster. Not going to lie, this dude though, Matthew O. Oganui? Matthew Oganui. Fuck Rutgers. What are we doing out here, dude? This guy's got 87 speed, 90 XL. I am starting him in a heartbeat. I gotta get in the depth chart. This team is so weird. All right, Ajani Shefford, you're starting. Now at tight end, let's get Matthew Ojanigi. You're also starting, sir. We do have an 87 left tackle. The offensive line at Rutgers is, is low-key kind of good. I'm impressed. Left end is a dog, Aaron Lewis. D tackles are all right. Outside linebacker is a dog. Middle linebacker is a dog. Okay, Rutgers defense actually looks pretty decent. Flip Dixon. What a cool name. All right. In this first season, we'll see what kind of decent recruits we can land. Uh, here's Siaki Taki Taki. This is the craziest name dynasty I've ever done. What the fuck is going on here? Four-star corner though. He's a busted gem, unfortunately, but he's still honestly is really good. 93 speed, 93 excel, platinum tier, the natural. The good news is we are able to land some decent prospects. I love this guy right here. Brian Schneck. Four-star halfback. He likes Rutgers. He's got 93 speed and he's a gem. Hopefully we can land him. Dude, Mitchell the beer. Where the fuck are these names coming from? Curtis Miners. This is, this is just the best. All right. What's going to be the biggest problem for Rutgers? The biggest problem for Rutgers? You're in the big 10 and the big 10 now has a ton of powerhouse programs, but take a look at this schedule for being in the big 10. This might be the most cakewalk schedule you could possibly have. We start out with FCS East, the astronauts. We dodge Oregon. We dodge Ohio state. We dodge Michigan. That is insane. The only super legitimate Big Ten team we're playing is USC. So we could have a really, really good season right here, land some solid recruits. And then I think we're going to have to tank. Next season, we're going to lose so much talent. I think we'll be probably a 77 overall next season. And there's nothing we can do about it. We're just like, we have 20 senior top heavy right now. I don't know a single thing about Rutgers playbook, what this is going to look like. So I think we need to hop into this first astronauts game and just see what Rutgers does. Alternate unis actually are pretty dope. Home option is pretty fire. Okay, Rutgers. They got they got something to work with. The Rutgers Scarlet Knights out of New Brunswick, New Jersey. Yes, that puts you in the Big Ten, gentlemen. You could be in Michigan. You could be in Wisconsin. You could be in Ohio. You could be in New Jersey. You could be in California. You could be in Oregon. And somehow, you're in the Big Ten. All right, let's pop in to watch a Rutgers drive. We're up 7-0, to zero, and we started the sophomore, very fast quarterback, Ajani Shepard. 
he's going to hand off to the best player on this team. That was not the starting running back. There he is. Here's Mike. Mike Onanan guy. God, these names are wicked. Our star running back. Okay, guys, shut the fuck up. You know what I'm talking about. Ajani Shepard, 40 yards. Oh my God, we're going for this? Fourth and three, we're going for this. Bold as shit, a pitch to our star running back. And he's gonna power his way. Kyle Monin guy. Six rushes, 31 yards. I'm gonna get the one big Rutgers fan bitching at me about pronunciations, but you can Ligma and you can Sugma. Rutgers brews me handing off the ball a lot. Backup halfback is in. Ajani Shepard, you got 90 speed, buddy. You can go read option. Just kidding. Oh my God, the most disrespectful dive of all time. He was two yards into the end zone and he flattened an astronaut. Criminal blowout here. That's kind of how it goes when you play the astronauts. Rutgers kickers trotting out for 44 yards. You got to imagine a team like Rutgers has a good kicker, right? Like Rutgers is a super good school. They're not that good at football. You know, there's some weeb ass kid who can just hit fucking tactical nukes, right? I highly doubt there's any facts to support what I just said. You know, I just be spreading misinformation on the internet. Who gonna stop me? Hey, first game as a Scarlet Knight is a W, baby. If you lose to the FCS teams, though, it's gonna be a long ass season. Dude, this is our backup running back. Samuel Brown had 25 attempts, two touchdowns, 127 yards. How did that happen? How did our starter, 90 overall, not get more reps? I mean, it's probably good, I guess, getting Samuel Brown rest. I don't know, dude. A win is a win. Why does this happen to me? This is not not how a rebuild is supposed to work. What? Okay, let me just explain what was gonna happen in my head. Year one, I didn't think we could possibly win it. So I was gonna send to the end of year one, overview the recruits that I got, and then continue to establish a game plan for the rebuild. Instead, I am staring at number nine ranked Rutgers, who's 10 and two. We're seven and two in the Big Ten. We lost only two Big Ten. Granted, this is the easiest schedule we're ever gonna have, but we're gonna be in the college football playoffs. There is absolutely no way we are winning a college football Playoff. There is no way. No, no, no. I did not spend 19 years with Old Dominion for Rutgers to cakewalk to a national championship. There is absolutely no way. I refuse to believe this is true. And of course, committed is Yosef Cox. This is the wildest rebuild I've ever done. <laughs> the very first season on Rutgers. Riley Leonard wins Heisman. 40 touchdowns, one single interception. And we are taking on the University of Miami, the Hurricanes, in our college football playoff game in the very very first season. You could start a dynasty as Rutgers and sim it to the playoffs. I don't think you could ever get this to happen again. Although it looks like the Ajani Shepard decision was incredible. Dude threw 2,600 yards, 28 touchdowns, and five, only five interceptions. On the ground, Kyle Monen guy. Oh my God, Rutgers offense runs the ball so much. 1,100 yards and seven touchdowns. Shepard had almost 604 and the backup running back had 407 touchdowns. Through the air, we really didn't get any of our wide receivers that involved. We did get some touchdowns here out of Dremel, Miller, and Long. Defensively, 11 sacks out of Keyshawn Griffin. 74 overall D tackle. That is very shocking stat right there. Five interceptions out of Eric Rodgers and 65 tackles for Tyreen Powell. Crazy for a season. It's honestly really cool to see, though, that Ajani Shepard could honestly be the future here. He's a three-star scrambler uh, from the Bronx. His depth trait is impact, so he develops slightly faster. Uh, he can get a lot faster. His accuracies can get way, way better. His elusiveness and power can go all the way up. I'm so excited to see him. He's already got five abilities. That's what's crazy about a Johnny Shepard. Dude's got Magician, Mobile Resistance, Option King, Extender, and Off Platform. I think that's the future records for next two years. Now, before this playoff game, we got to talk about the recruits I was able to land. We got multiple two-star D tackles. We were able to sign Alec Hayes, who's an athlete. He is supposedly a scrambler quarterback. He's got 88 speed. I'm really liking the scrambler quarterbacks on Rutgers right now, so I'm cool with this. We got Ryan McNeil and Cox, so we got two new safeties, but nobody else is willing to commit quite yet. We did get Terrell Priester, another strong safety, and Edward McBurrows, a three-star middle linebacker. Excited to land a good amount of three stars, but recruiting has not been easy. Uh, obviously, we have a lot of competition, but still really trying to land a halfback since I'm about to lose my senior. The Scarlet Knights, a six overall disadvantage against the Miami Hurricanes. I mean, shit. I cannot believe we're 10-2. Either Rutgers' playbook is just some crazy, criminal, ridiculous nonsense, or we just got so, so, so lucky. Let's see how this game shapes up. It is 7-7 right now. 7-10. Okay. What kind of wizardry is Rutgers doing? It's 14-10. We are beating Miami right now. 
And on third and 14, we're gonna hand it off. I am disappointed in that play call. To say the least, fourth and 11 will punt this football away. That was a bomb of a punt though. And good coverage. All right, let's see what this Rutgers defense can do. First and 10, drop back, throw over the middle, caught. Cam Ward, no touchdowns, no interceptions. You could not be closer to a first down. Those lines are intersecting. Second and a quarter inch. Cam Ward unloads to the end zone. And Rutgers is torched. On second and inches, they pulled that play out of the bag. That was wild. All right, 14 to 17. Let's see what we got here. Laser over the middle, rocked. Ajani Shepard's got 140 yards, two touchdowns. You know what's funny? Ajani Shepard has never been redshirted either. I could technically redshirt him his junior year so that, oh, Ajani, you might need it, buddy. Where is that DB going? Dude just had a pick six and ran back towards the receiver. What did I just watch? Ajani Shepard is so lucky that's not a pick six. The Cinderella story comes to an end. We still put up 22 points, got an onside kick here. Miami's gonna recover that one easily, and it's pretty much all she wrote. Honestly, ridiculous that we were in the college football playoffs anyway, but that's all she wrote for Rutgers' miracle run. Miami takes us out in the first round, and it's back to the drawing board, but I was gonna be at the drawing board anyway. We are not supposed to win in the first year. Yes, technically I could have stepped in and played, but that is so lame. I want to rebuild, baby, so let's do it. All right, the year two roster, let's take a look. Now, as imagined, the overall got a huge hit. I mean, we lost so many good players. Samuel Brown's looking good though. 91 speed, 94 excel. Ajani Shepard is now a 79 overall. He is a junior. Look at AJ Suris. I don't know. The redshirt freshman actually looks pretty good. I think I'm going to redshirt Ajani Shepard, give him two more years after, and I'm going to start AJ Suris. And then when Shepard's out, I can put Suris right back in. I think this is going to work. All right, let's go to quarterbacks. It feels so weird to redshirt a junior, but I'm going to do it. I'm also going to redshirt Alec Hayes. Oh, just kidding. We can't because if Suris got injured. We would need a backup quarterback. Now, after that monster season, we're a three and a half star program, so we can shoot for the stars on these recruits. I'm loading it up with four, three, and I think one five star. No, just kidding. All four and three star recruits. Uh, just kidding. I did put a five star on here. I knew it. Lynn Cross, a six five physical five star wide receiver, 97 jumping, 94 speed, and the dude is six foot five. This dude would be a monster. So we'll stay on top of our recruits. Johnny Shepard is redshirted. So AJ Suris is the starter. Dylan Braithwaite is now 99 speed, 99 acceleration. He is a junior though. I could redshirt him too. I think I am gonna do that. I'm gonna redshirt him. I'm gonna redshirt the 99 speed, 99 excel guy for sure. Oganee, 87 speed, 90 excel, still our starting tight end. So that's good to see. Defense got a lot weaker. That is sad. All right, let's redshirt the speed demon wide receiver. So I have two juniors being redshirted. Shirted, just so that Ajani Shepard has everything he needs for uh, his junior and senior seasons. First game of the season, cakewalk. So is our second. Then we take on Purdue, Minnesota, Illinois. And what do you know? Our schedule infinitely harder this time. Penn State, Ohio State, Oregon, Iowa. We dodged all of these teams in the first season. And we've got all of them right now. Still haven't seen Michigan though. So that's good. Season opener is against the Ohio Bobcats. We barely have an advantage on this team overall wise. Yikes. I am gonna play though. I haven't played as uh as Rutgers yet, so let's do it. Rutgers is ranked ninth in the nation. That is the most fraudulent ranking I have ever seen. We have no business being ranked that way, but if they want to give it to us, you can give it to us, dude. This team is dog water. All right, opening play. I do see press coverage. Suris. Suris is kind of speedy, boy. I mean, he's not a Johnny Shepard, but this will. I'm gonna be honest. This is gonna be a tough season. Two of our best players are redshirted right now, but I know that we can't. Can't win a natty right now, so I'm rebuilding. We're gonna go into Samuel Brown. One of the best players on this team who lights up a Bobcat. There's a decent amount of speed on uh, on Rutgers, though. I'm not gonna lie, like this tight end. Ojanigi. He's gonna come down with this pass. Beautiful work. First and ten. Ojanigi. Two times. No! They caught on! I shouldn't have tried it two times in a row. The Bobcats adapted. Defense needs my help now. First and ten. I don't even know who I'm on or what I'm doing but it's, it might work. Get him down, boys. Ricky Hunt Jr. I know a lot about Ricky Hunt Jr. Quarterback road to glory. Second and five, come here, Ricky. That is not Ricky Hunt Jr. That's, oh, I was gonna say that's a dead man, but I missed. I straight up get too excited. That's a Ricky Hunt Jr. handoff, dude. I know the Bobcats. It's not. What? 
Fourth and one. This could be a stop. Oh my God, they're going for it. Fourth and one. They're going for it. Is it a handoff? It is. Bodies. The Scarlet Knights hold. Nice work. It is still zero to zero. On third and six, I'm popping on Walker here for a big play. Get there. Good defense. They got to kick this field goal, right? Oh my God. Six to zero against Ohio. Yeah. Uh, I miss a Johnny Shepard. Ooh, what a route. This tight end is such a beast. These linebackers can't hang with him. I am glad I found him deep in the depth chart, dude. Scary ball into Samuel Brown. That's a drop. Second and 10. Oh my God, and we fumble. Are you serious? That's crazy. Well, we do get the ball right back. First and 10. There's Ojanigi. This dude is my, uh, my safety blanket. First and 10. Dude, what is with the pass rush? Well, Ohio Bobcats got like Miles Garrett over there. What are we, what are we doing? Second and 10. I'm gonna test my outside receiver. Oh, tip drill! <laughs> That was awesome. Can we see that again? Dude, honestly, it wasn't a good ball in the first place. I don't know what I was doing, but I guess it works out. Samuel Brown, take his yards. We got RBT at running back, bro. All right, first and 10. Samuel Brown, Samuel Brown. Let's score right here, second and one. Can we get a big play? Okay, Suris is around the edge. I'm gonna send X deep. Let's truck him. First and goal, we're out of bounds. I assume we were out of bounds there. We were. I think Ojaniyi, maybe. Is he back there? Samuel Brown, no, you gotta keep running. He doesn't keep running. I'm risking it here for everything. Second and goal from the eight. We're going for the touchdown. The post is dropped. How did you drop that? Oh my God. It's six to zero. It is now nine to zero. Ohio is just whooping us right now. That is a beautiful ball. That is a beautiful ball. Second and one. Let's go inside zone here. Got to pound the rock, right? We got such a good running back. His wear and tear is bad though. He's getting hurt right in the middle. Samuel Brown, touchdown, finally in the end zone. Damn, Ohio scored too. Are we about to lose this season opener? Oh my God, offensive line got absolutely blown up. I can't throw anything. They're calling fourth down alert. They're bringing me in to try and convert this. I don't know, I need some time in the pocket. Like half a second maybe, what a ball! <laughs> That's an insane conversion. This game is still winnable. Rolling out to the right. I'm gonna check this down to Samuel Brown. We'll take our five yards. AJ Sir is having a good game. Just gotta find, I think this is zone. There should be a, beautiful. Beautiful. What we love to see right there. Might be able to punch us in with an inside zone. What do you got, Sam Brown? Hey, he got rolled into the end zone. Defense came up with a stop, it looks like. 16 to 14. All right, we'll take the easy one to Ojanigi. This Rutgers team has the most wicked last names. I'm very sorry if I'm butchering these. Third and five, right up the gut. It's fourth and one. We got to go for it. I think an inside zone should be able to get this. We've been getting a push. Beautiful. More than enough. Sam Brown. Jesus. Need a touchdown. Actually, no, a field goal wins this. Ojanigi. Caught. Oh my God. This dude is so good. I love him. All right. First and 10 against the Bobcats here. I'm putting one up. That's a scary ball. Why didn't you jump? We had that. All right. Second and 10. We're looking good right now though. This is a good drive. All right. Easy check downs. Damn. Out of bounds though. Good. Good. Ojanigi. Playmakering all by himself. And now potentially we punch this in with Sam Brown, baby. All right, I'm going to hand this puppy off to Sam Brown. He breaks one tackle. Can't break the next. I'm going to try and get on the edge with him. Halfback off tackle on second and goal. This will bring up the two-minute warning, too. Can we get all the way in? Sam Brown! Down to the two. Smash mouth football, boys. Third and goal. We are in full house pistol. Sam Brown! Sam Brown just barely gets over that. Let's go. I think this game's over. Defense comes up with another stop. It's first and 10. They have all three timeouts though. So we do need to get a first down here. Sam Brown just breaks tackles like no other. This guy's a freak. Pistol dive to Sam Brown. Oh my God, I could take this all the way, but the smart thing to do is just end this ball game. It's over. Oh my God, what just happened? Okay, don't grief us, Ohio. The game's over, all right? It's over. We barely come out on top on the season opener. Yeah, should we be ranked ninth in the nation? No, we get a narrow win against the Bobcats. We lost so much senior talent, uh, but hopefully we can land some really solid 
solid recruits this year. Samuel Brown with three touchdowns. Big time. Dude, you can't stop this Rutgers team, bro. You just can't stop them. We end the season eight and four, six and three in the Big Ten. I gotta say, I'm really impressed with Rutgers. We beat a very pitiful Iowa team. We beat Oregon. Oregon is one in the nation. We beat Oregon 31 to 20. Then who the hell did we lose to? We beat Maryland by a field goal. Oh my God, we beat Oregon. Okay, we got shit on by Ohio State. We got shit on by Penn State. We lost to Eastern Michigan. Eastern Michigan's only win of the season was against Rutgers. We beat Illinois. We beat Minnesota. We barely beat Purdue. We beat FCS Northwest, which means our other loss is Washington. Damn, we lost to a lot of bad teams and then we beat Oregon. That's wild. It's another winning season and an awesome recruiting class though for Rutgers. We got multiple three stars, Kohler, Clark, Bobby Cobb. It was once again, really difficult to actually land the four and five stars though, but we got Sadiq Duggan. We got Mike Smalls, Ramon Keen. Just landing as many players as I can, to be honest. Suris was honestly just the sub in. He threw 19 touchdowns and 10 interceptions. Didn't do much. We're just waiting for a Johnny Shepard to come back a along with our speed demon wide receiver. Uh, but on the ground, Sam Brown, 800 yards and nine touchdowns, a really good season for him. And defensively, five interceptions out of Antonio White. That is a red shirt freshman, 84 overall. Oh my God, what? Antonio White is an 85 overall. This dude's a red shirt freshman. Dude, he's a freak. 92 speed, 92 excel, lots of room to improve. And that's his first year. He's gonna be a stud on that defense. We also got four interceptions out of sophomore Kaj Sanders. And our pass rush is nowhere near Near as good. Sean Collins got home eight and a half times. But Juwan Jenkins, also a freshman. Impact dev trait. His ratings, here's a problem though. You run into this problem with some players. Their ceiling is just so pitiful. His finesse moves can go no higher. His quickness can go no higher. So this is basically as good as he's gonna get. That sucks, because he had a good season. Honestly, to string together two insanely good winning seasons when we're not really getting started yet is amazing. Tell me that doesn't look gas, bro. Yo, let me, let me get this straight, EA. Let me get this straight. So we started as a two and a half star program. We go 10 and two. I'm a three and a half star program. I go eight and four last season. And now I'm a two and a half star program. All right. Our first game of the season is against UMass. Let me show you why I am so excited right now. Here's the roster. Highest overall it's ever been. Abram Wright, Juwan Jenkins, Sam Pyloff, Jazir Patterson, and Jashan Benjamin are best players. First things first, Ajani Shepard is back off his red shirt year. He's a higher overall, 80 89 speed, 90 excel with okay throwing stats. Ironically, AJ Suris actually got better than him by his one starting year, but I like a Johnny Shepard because he's a scrambler. Rutgers runs the ball a lot, a lot of read options. I still think he's the right guy for the job. So we're about to get an awesome season out of a Johnny Shepard. But more importantly than that, take a look at our starting halfback. Jashawn Benjamin has 93 speed, 95 excel, and 99 agility. He's 5'9", 195, and he's progressing super well. And next season, we get Ed Guerrier. Guer Guer like, what the fuck? Regardless, he's got 93 speed, 97 XL, 91 agility. So we have great running backs for the next few seasons, and they're fast. But the best part, the absolute kicker, Dylan Braithwaite is off of his redshirt year. The deep threat 5'10 wide receiver has 99 speed, 99 acceleration, and he's only got one ability. It's platinum tier takeoff. Are you shitting me? That is the best ability in this game. Not only that, but physical 6'3 Ian Strong has 97 speed, 91 XL. So we have monster threats everywhere. Ojanigi, the tight end, going into his junior year with 87 speed, 90 excel. Dude, we got so much speed, so many options on this offense. I am so excited for this game. I'm gonna play the moments on this one. 83 overall, Scarlet Knights. Let's get after it. There's Dylan on the far right side with platinum tier takeoff. Is it this easy? Is it this easy? Oh, that's actually good defense. If I put a little more under that ball, it's a touchdown. Defense needs my help on third and 15. We should be just fine here, boys. Oh my God, I'm open through the middle, a sack. Holy shit. It is seven to six next time we take over. I mean, dude, I'm literally so tempted to throw him the ball again. 99 speed platinum tier takeoff. There's nothing you can do. 
Especially as UMass, when you don't have 99 speed DVs, there's nothing you can do. This guy was made in a lab, and he's a 72 overall. All he can do is literally run straight, but he's damn good at it. One of the best ever. All right, 31 seconds. It is 13 to 14. I'm tempted to do it again, but don't worry. I mean, I got a Johnny Shepard too. We have options. Ooh, a Johnny Shepard. Great ball. Got outside that pocket nice and easy. Is this clock ticking? It is. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Second and five. Quick throw. Caught by Ian Strong. Timeout, Rutgers. First and goal, seven seconds. We can get a touchdown here. I think I want to scramble this. Ajani Shepard is fast. Uh-oh. That's why you don't predetermine. I didn't get any points on that because I was not, I did not have my eyes downfield. That's a huge mistake. This is a close ball game, boys. First and goal in the red zone. That's a handoff right side. I'm going to fill it. Oh, my God. What a play. That was Gorgeous. Something similar out of UMass. Another handoff. No, this one's a pass. A quick pass. A big hit. Third and goal. Keep him out the end zone. I'm on the safety. Gilly. Third and goal. It's another pass. He's going to scramble. He's going to take a huge... No. No. And we're back on defense. 19 of... That's a bunch of BS. That's frustrating. Finds a wide open man too. Next time we take over, we're in the red zone, but we're down 26 to 14 right now. We're gonna have to make a big play. On third and four, holy shit. Just watch that again. Literally just watch that again. Look at how unbelievably fast this man shoots out of a cannon. Platinum tier takeoff is the best ability in this game. 26, it's an actual glitch. And, and I think he's gonna score again. I could take the lead here if he does that again. Okay, it's, it's actually not open that time. Third and 13, but it might be open this time. Hilarious. Seriously. Third and 13. Oh, Janigi's open. I got to take him. Ajani Shepard's having a huge game, but we got to put a pin in it. We got to end this game. Ajani rolls out. That's actually open. What? A ball! A Johnny Shepard! Holy shit! We are gonna score too fast, but I'm okay with it. Because we're looking really good right now, and we just missed a touchdown! Oh! I jinxed us. I really announced her jinx this. This drive's looking pitiful now. Going drive trail here. Braithwaite. Oh my fucking god. It's absolutely insane what this man can do. Dylan Braithwaite. Oh my god. UMass scored. It's 29 to 29. What am I gonna do? I don't know what play to do. Guys, what play do I run? I just don't know. <laughs> this fucking guy has 99 speed, 99 excel, platinum tier takeoff. And not a single other stat. He literally cannot do anything else other than what he just did. 29 to 29. Could pretty much put this game away here. Maybe a few good runs and we're in business. There's a handoff right there. Let's juke back inside. Second and four. A touchdown takes us up. I mean, we could chew the clock and kick the field goal. We got options. I think a Johnny Shepard is going to be able to walk this one in. Absolutely. And oh my God, what? 36 to 30. Wait, so they scored again and went for two and didn't get it? We barely won that game. Ajani Shepard, 421 yards and five touchdowns. A well-deserved player of the game. Beautiful start for Rutgers. Okay, here we go. This is more of what I was expecting. Rutgers goes five and seven, four and five in the Big Ten. There is a scary thing though. Ajani Shepard is a risk of transfer because of playing time. You're the starting quarterback. What What about that though? do you not like? Do you just are you just mad that we suck now? Is that what it is? It was another okay recruiting season. I'm actually really struggling to recruit as Rutgers. Got some three stars though. Once again, where are they getting these last names? We got Lane Kloffenstein. Hello? Are you a German war general or? We got Mike Glenn. Thank you, Mike, for the pronounceable name. Philip Folk, Pat Robbins, Blake. Fuck you. Not the best season out of a Johnny Shepard. 200 yards, 300 attempts, 19 touchdowns, 11 interceptions. He was our lead rusher though. He rushed for 700 40 yards and three touchdowns. That is some serious scrambling. Braithwaite, even with all that he's capable of, only had 650 yards and six touchdowns. I think it's finally time that we do switch up the offensive playbook. I kind of want to try out two lanes. I always see two lane perform well in dynasties. I've never used their offensive playbook. Let me see what happened here for two lane. So two lane had, seems like they distributed the wealth pretty well amongst their wide receivers. And their quarterback threw 3,000 yards, 34 and five, and he's a scrambler. Eli Holston. All right, we're switching our offensive. Offensive playbook to two lanes, multiple offense. 
I'm excited to try this out. Quick outfit change. All right, it's week one, 2027. We're in an 85 overall, but a two and a half star program. So recruiting will be great this year. Best player on the team right now is Antonio White Jr. with platinum tier house call. Really good ability. Elijah King, Sam Pilov, Juwan Jenkins, Jazir Patterson. Defense is really good. Most of our top guys are juniors and on the defensive side of the ball. Uh, Braithwaite is now in his senior year. He's an 86 overall, 99 speed, 99 excel. Absolute stud. Should be a good season for him, but it's weird right now at the quarterback position. I don't think we can start AJ Suris. I think we need to start Alec Hayes. 90 speed, 92 excel, 97 short accuracy, 88 medium, 75 deep. Alec Hayes looks like he could end up being really, really good. He is star dev, and unfortunately, Ajani Shepard now in the NFL. So we've got to make it work with one of these two guys. I'm going to try out Alec Hayes. Gabe Winovich, the junior halfback. He's a power back, but he somehow made Managed to get 94 speed, 96 excel, which is really fast. So we have a nice little one-two punch, even though they're not high overalls. And then, of course, Braithwaite's going to be really good this season. We did switch our offense. We're running two lanes offense. And I got to make sure Braithwaite is our starting slot wide receiver. I don't know much about two lanes offense, but we're going to find out. First game against UCLA right here. Let's step in and see how this goes. Looks like a relatively close matchup. Now, remember that in year two, Rutgers was a 78 overall. Three years after that, we're now an 85 overall. So as long as we keep getting these overalls up consistently, we will be able to hang with better programs. So that's going to be a key to getting to the national championship. Dude, take a look at this. The stadium pulse, the rain at UCLA. This is a wild atmosphere for a game right here. I'm going to throw a quick throw because it's going to be scary. Uh, I mean, we can kind of do the classic, right? Oh, wait, no, this is fake screen. Doesn't look like Braithwaite is available for a deep bomb. But let's just hit him right here, because this dude is so fast. It is Braithwaite's final season, which is actually really sad, dude. Having a 99 speed guy changes everything. So hopefully we can put together a good season here, but I'd be real shocked if this was somehow a national championship season. We got Braithwaite on a deep post route here. He is not open. Flood swing. I'm going to step up with Hayes. He's got 90 speed. He breaks a tackle. And look at that. He has the platinum tier weather ability, which is actually paying off right now. I am going to heave this across the field. Oh my God. And it's going to be money. All right. First and 10 against UCLA. Let me put this puppy in here. Ooh. Ooh. Duff. Jeez. Everybody is so fast on this team. I think he has takeoff too. Cause that was, that looked really fast. Wow. And offense gets us right back on the one yard line. I'm going wildcat jet sweep first and goal. That play is still so nasty. Dude. The two lane offense is incredible. We are beating the shit out of UCLA. But they're right here in the red zone. That's a read option. A spin just to rub it in our face. UCLA does get a touchdown. It's just a little too late, though. I don't see how they can win this game. That is all she wrote. Rutgers, 31 to 10, a Big Ten win against a really good program. UCLA is an 86 overall. This could be the start of a seriously good future for this program. Alec Hayes is only a sophomore. Now, the sad news, we do lose our speed demon wide receiver after this season. So let's make sure we recruit an absolute demon wide receiver for Alec Hayes. I don't know. Right now, my goal senior year for Alec Hayes, that could potentially be our national championship push. That would be the year 2029. I mean, shit, technically this year could be it too, but I don't know. We are only a two and a half star program right now. So I'm taking a look at three stars. Top three guys I'm looking at are all wide receivers. Adrian Foster, Dylan Harper, Barry Clemens, and John Burks. Hopefully one of these guys is really fast. 91 speed on Burks. Yuck. Clemens is dog shit. Harper is not so great either. None of these guys are fast. 86 speed. Here's a 91 speed athlete four-star running back though. I do like that. We do have one commitment already, which is Nolan Duff, right guard. I'll keep you guys updated. Now, sadly, Rutgers had a mid-season slump. We lost a few games in a row, falling to Michigan in week four, getting smacked by Indiana in week five, losing to my alumni, Michigan State Spartans in week six, getting shit on by no Nebraska in week seven, but we picked it up and closed out the season strong, most impressively with a big win against the Ohio State Buckeyes. We closed out the season ranked mainly because of our win against Ohio State, but with a seven and five record, it was an all right season. But one thing I really did like was the performance of Alec Hayes and the new offense, the two lane offense, 3,100 yards, 
33 and 12 for a sophomore scrambler is really, really good. His overall has already gone up significantly. He's got two more available upgrades in accuracy and a few more in health, which means the only upgrades he's really going to get is accuracy. That's a really good thing. Sitting at 90 speed, 92 excel is as fast as he can get, uh, but he's got a lot of good abilities too. Off-platform extender, option king, mobile resistance, and magician. Winovich had a super good season, 833 yards and 10 touchdowns, no fumbles. Hayes rushed for 500 yards and two touchdowns. Receiving Braithwaite was insanely good. It's so sad that this is his senior season. 1,200 yards and nine touchdowns. It's gonna suck trying to replace him because he's so good. We were not very effective in the pass rush, but we did have a lot of interceptions as a team. Antonio White Jr. getting four interceptions, extra abilities. He now has Jammer and Ballhawk going into his senior year. And a recruiting overview for the year 2027. I did land a lot of wide receivers and that was important to me. They just aren't that good. I couldn't get any really good wide receivers. Got Adrian Foster, Barry Clemens, John Burks, hoping these guys can eventually get some speed upgrades. Uh, grab some offensive linemen, grab D. Roy, a tight end, and we'll have to pick up everybody else, mainly in the transfer portal, or see if we can land any guys in this offseason. All right, 2028, we're up to a three-star program. We're an 82 offense and an 87 defense. So the best the defense has ever been, but offense did take a hit. So many good defensive seniors is really, really exciting. Now, we did lose a ton of speed in the wide receiver room. That does suck, but that doesn't mean we don't have talented guys. Ben Black, Hugh Temple, and Brian Sabri are our wide receivers right now. 88, 82, and 81 overall, respectively. I do love having a speed demon, but I think these guys can absolutely get the job done. They're all really, really solid. Now, at halfback, we still have Winovich, 94 speed, 96 excel in his senior year. At tight end, it's Jose Head with outside shield. He's solid. 80 overall, 86 speed. I like the guy. D. Roy ended up being 82 speed, 77 excel. Probably gonna redshirt him. Should be a good season, though. Here's the problem. So, Alec Hayes now has platinum tier option king and silver tier magician. I still really like this kid, but when he's a senior, I'm not going to have a lot of talent for him. Wide receivers are all going to graduate. I do want to make a push when Alec Hayes is a senior, but I don't know. Maybe I, I just got to recruit like an absolute god this year. Alec Hayes will continue to be the starter. Let's have a good season. The 2028 season for Rutgers ended up being insane. Now, luckily we had a cakewalk schedule, but closing out the season, we beat Monroe 20 to 17 in a narrow victory, and there's only one game left. And that's against the Penn State Nittany Lions. We are 10 and 1 this season, seventh in the nation. That puts us second in the Big Ten right now. Winning this game against Penn State guarantees that we go to the Big Ten Championship. We dominated Washington State. We had a nice little game against the Astronauts. We whooped on UCLA once again, narrowly beat Ohio State. And shockingly, our only loss of the season was to Illinois. The Fighting Illini went three and eight, two and six in the Big Ten. And they're our only loss. They dropped 49 on us. I want to pop in and see this Penn State game because if we can win this, we're headed to the Big Ten Championship. Frankly, we might go to the Big Ten Championship anyway, but this guarantees it. All right, gentlemen, it is zero to zero. A big, big win here will give us a shot at the college football playoffs once again. Alec Hayes, the junior, having a miraculous season right now. Ben Black on the far left, our best wide receiver. Let's see what we got. Oh my God, you definitely have takeoff. Damn, Nittany. Lions. D-line is not playing around, but somebody's got takeoff. Duff definitely has takeoff. Wow, this dude Duff has platinum tier takeoff. Dude, they're playing such good defense. Nothing is open. We're gonna need a big conversion here. Third and 16, tight window. Nobody's home. That's a punch. Shaping up to be a tough game. Penn State's got us backed up against the wall. It's 20 to 10 right now. Gonna get home there? No, but a big hit. Second and 14. We gotta get a stop, a score, and another stop. And how did he squeak through that? Third and eight. Third and eight. Big stop. Oh my God. How did you let him get that? On first and 10, there's another handoff. We know what Penn State's gonna do. Come on, y'all. Well, this game is all but over. It looks like we're trying to punch in a little poverty touchdown here. It never hurts, you know? Maybe somebody bet the live over because they're a degenerate. I don't know. And they probably hate themselves right now because that was totally defensive pass interference. And the refs don't call it. They want the under. I have over 37 on this game. My whole house mortgage is on it. No! Fourth and three. You got to go for it, coach. For the wife and the kids. For the mortgage. For the mortgage! Where the... I've got a whole house on it. You're... 
This is a pitiful game. How did we go 10 and one play like this? Lost all our sauce. Penn State's running back just averaged damn near 10 yards per carry on us. Yikes. Dude, it's been an amazing season, but a really deflating end to the season? Potentially ruining our chances at the Big Ten Championship? I, I really don't know. Now I will say, despite that loss, it's been a really solid recruiting season. We landed a four-star strong safety, a four-star free safety, multiple three-star wide receivers, looking at a five-star athlete right now, although it does look like Tennessee is gonna swoop him up. This dude looked like a beast. So it's nice to have some four stars back on the roster, but I'm not sure the implications of that loss. That's a Big Ten loss as well. 2028 Heisman is an Alabama wide receiver with 1,200 yards and 11 touchdowns. Ryan Williams. Oh my God, we must have been so close. We missed the Big Ten championship. That loss to Penn State was huge. Now we're taking on the Gamecocks in the cheese it Bowl. Pissed. Oh, that sucks. Honestly, though, a really another really good season for Alec Hayes. Wasn't as good as last season, but a good season. Uh, he definitely misses our 99 speed demon wide receiver. Now, KJ Duff does have platinum tier takeoff, and that's landed him 15 touchdowns, which is a crazy amount. But we lose all three of these wide receivers next season, too. Next year may not be as good as I'm hoping. I don't know. Let's not get discouraged, though, boys. It's the Cheez-It Bowl. I'm not gonna play this one out. I'm gonna full sim it other than that kick return. Let's see how Rutgers plays. Hopefully we can uh, we can step it up from that Penn State game. God, that was pitiful. 21 to 21 at half. I think at some point here, we gotta check in and see what's going on. 24 to 24 in the Cheese and Citrus Bowl. It's not the national championship, but you gotta start somewhere. Rutgers has the football. That's a handoff to the right side. Gabe Winovich, 14 rushes, 130 yards. Damn, he's cooking. Now second and nine, it looks like, oh, it's a play action to Winovich this time. Hayes almost flushed out, but he checks it down. Nice work. Alec Hayes has almost no yards, but three total touchdowns. Third and five, gigantic conversion right here. What do we got up our sleeves? Good looking blocks, a laser beam. But damn, he was bagged. That was really good defense. And we're gonna go with a short pooch punt here. You're kind of in no man's land here. I'd almost go for this. But that is a spectacular punt. Down at the six yard line, South Carolina takes over. We'll start out with a handoff. And even though he's a star running back with a lot of abilities, he does go down after three yards. Another handoff. That running back looks like he's gonna be a problem. Platinum to your arm bar. South Carolina. South Carolina, big laser beam down. Dude, we just had the ball. It was all tied up and all of a sudden, South Carolina's got us on the ropes. Dude, what a bummer end to this season. We were looking so good. Game isn't over though. We got timeouts, we got two minutes. All right, first and 10, we are throwing the football. Damn, we're not getting any separation. I miss my 99 speed guy, man. I do. Second and 10, 24 to 31. There's another dude. We're completely locked up in man coverage right now. Nope, dude, we couldn't separate from a telephone pole. What are we doing, Rutgers? Somebody get open, somebody. Oh my fucking God. You just threw a, a bag check down? South Carolina just stepped up gigantic. We just got smoked. I've seen enough. South Carolina puts in one more touchdown as do we, the cheese it Bowl, 38 to 31. Honestly, I think our team is really solid. We're just lacking like true star players right now. We lost our really, really star stud wide receiver. Alec Hayes isn't quite at his maximum potential. N none of our wide receivers could separate there. We gotta get better wide receivers in and we gotta do it fast because we're about to lose Alec Hayes. And this may end up taking longer than I thought. What the actual fuck am I looking at? What the actual fuck am I looking at? Isaac Sipniewski, the 6'1", 292 pound right guard, has 99 speed! I have played so much of this game, never in my life have I seen this. His quickness isn't even maxed out. You're in the wrong position, bro. If I could just move this dude to wide receiver, he'd be a god. What? How the fuck did that happen? Alec Hayes is now in his- dude, what is going on? This is one of the coolest things I've ever seen. He's our second best player. Curtis Miners is our best. What the fuck? That's crazy. Alec Hayes going into his senior year is slow lower than our red guard at 90 speed. Um, he looks good. He's an 85 overall, platinum tier option king. I don't know that we have the weapons to win a national championship right now. We're an 82 overall, we're a three-star program. At, at this point, I'm thinking, hopefully we can get out of this season with a, a winning record. Our freshman quarterbacks don't look very good. We got to recruit a QB. Yeah, this, this season looks rough, dude. We're kind of at a rebuild. I think last season,
season we had a good shot and we fell just short. Let's have a really good recruiting season, see what we can do. I mean, maybe we do make the playoffs. I just, I gotta see our schedule first. We got North Carolina, Ohio State, Oregon. Okay, we dodge Michigan, maybe. It's possible, I guess. Season went as expected, finishing with a seven and five record. I gotta say though, Alec Hayes senior season was insane. He probably almost got Heisman, I gotta check. But 3,000 yards, 33 touchdowns, only a single interception. That's insanely good, especially for a scrambler. That's really cool. I do have to give credit though to Tulane's offense. Tulane's offense is really, really good. I highly recommend it if you're gonna do a rebuild. Adrian Stevens, not the best running back since we lost Winovich, but uh, 900 yards, eight touchdowns is not bad. Dylan Harper caught 1,000 yards for 11 touchdowns. Barry Clemens, 857 for 11 touchdowns. Um, Let's look at blocking. Did our 99 speed guy? He played 869 downs. He allowed a sack. Bro, you got 99 speed. How did you let anybody get around you. I am disappointed in you, Sipniewski. Dude, I wish so badly that you could like play as a right guard in this game. How sick would it be to load into a dynasty and play as Isaac Sipniewski, 99 speed right guard? All right, gentlemen, we're back to a three and a half star program. The year is 2030 and it's officially time to get back to the drawing board. It's, it's a good place to start now that we're a three and a half star program again. Alec Hayes has graduated. We've got to look at our quarterback options and figure out who we're moving forward with in the future. Keenan Harper is our highest overall, but he's a junior. Tavares Ingram is a senior as a 76. I don't know that I can justify any of these guys right now. Fitaly Fall, scrambler quarterback, 74 overall freshman. Could redshirt him and get an extra year out of him, or we could start him right now. He's already got two abilities. His dev trait is normal. That is unfortunate. His quickness is already maxed out. I don't think this is our guy. Honestly, I, have n I don't have a single quarterback for the future right now. None of these guys are going to get it done. I think we just got to start Keenan Harper and this, this season's going to be a wash. Halfbacks are pitiful right now. Although Dante Cush, the freshman, 93 speed, 88 excel. Could definitely see him being really good in the future. Gonna want to redshirt him. Wide receivers are slower than my guard. Man, this is a tough year. Pat Robbins is an 87 overall as a junior though. I think we just got to survive this season. Defense does look okay, but I need a quarterback and some wide receivers for the future. Holy shit. This might be the most frustrating part of every rebuild is like, it's so hard to get those stars up. It took me four years to go from two and a half stars or three and a half stars. And in one season, I just went back to a two and a half star program. We went two and 10, one and eight in the big 10. We got absolutely flooded. And yeah, I mean, we lost a ton of our stud players. This is one of the worst lineups we've had in a hot minute. God, that sucks. Thought I'd keep those seasons quick since we were in a lot of trouble, but we followed it up with a seven and five season. We got half a star back. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. College football rebuilds can be so discouraging because you put together this game plan, you build up this roster, you recruit these guys. And in just a short three, four years, if you don't win the natty, you're right back to square one. And that's kind of how I feel right now. It feels like we're back to square one, except it's not square one. It's the year 2032, but that's okay because we are going to make this work. I like this team. I think we have the best offense in place right now that we could have. Here's how the roster looks right now. We got a stud right guard and a stud right end. Alpha Cherry's a really good corner, but he's very slow. 86 speed, 88 excel. Our quarterback for the future. Now, Fatele Fong right now is our starter. This guy's ceiling is kind of pitiful though. I mean, he really can't even get much better. I have two freshman options. I have Kazim Keller and Denton Vaught. Kazim Keller is normal dev. He can't hardly get any better. That's like one of the biggest issues. These guys can't get any better. Denton Vaught is impact dev trait and he can get significantly better. I think this is going to have to be our quarterback for the future. Dante Kush is looking good at running back though. 93 speed, 88 excel. Wide receivers are looking pretty mid. Nick Rourke has platinum tier Cutter. Got Jamie Biggers at tight end. And linebackers Chris Fowler, Owen Hepburn, and Lorenzo Brahms. Good linebackers, good DBs, good safeties. Just gotta win games, man. We gotta win games. It was time to lock in. So for the 2032 and 2033 season, I spent all my time ensuring that I landed the best recruits I could, won games that were legitimately winnable, and kept Rutgers above a 500 record for both of those seasons. So now, headed into the 2034 season, 
in. I finally think we are ready to make another big push. Which, good boys, I thought that'd be the best way to do this. Because those two seasons were definitely going to be boring. It's 2034. We're an 86 overall. We've got an 85 offense and an 87 defense. Those recruits we landed are finally paying off. A lot of good things to talk about right now. Best player on this team, John Boozer. A 91 overall, 86 speed, 87 excel, outside linebacker. Not to mention this kid is only a junior and he can still improve significantly. He can get a lot faster too. I really like this kid. We have a platinum tier pocket shield center, which is so good for your quarterback. Fastest player on this team is Larry Case, a sophomore outside linebacker, which is crazy. Dante Cush is now a senior with 93 speed. We've got Enrique Danucci with 92 speed at wide receiver. And Denton Vaught is getting better. He's got gold tier magician, option king, and extender. He's only a sophomore right now, and he's an 81 overall. He's got room to improve in accuracy and power, which is honestly perfect. If he can get better accuracies, he's already got 91 speed, 89 excel. Then it's just going to be up to getting his physical abilities even better. Three full years with Denton Vaught with this completely revamped program. For the life of me, I cannot recruit a fast wide receiver though. I've literally tried every single season to get like one fast wide receiver and I keep whiffing. They just don't want to play for Rutgers. But 2034, Denton Vaught is the new starter. Let's try and string together an awesome season here. Our first game of the season is against the Coyotes. This is going to be an absolute blowout. I would love to play the moments of this game. All right, Denton Vaught. Welcome to being a starter, baby. That center with his ability is low-key so OP. Oh, and I'm gonna lob this up. Will he catch that? Sowers got it! He can't truck through, but that's 40 yards. I mean, honestly, we could throw to anybody. I don't think it matters. The Coyotes are not gonna be able to hang. Denton Vaught. Scrambling. Scrambling. I'm hitting him. Oh! Oh! Oh, shit! Denton Vaught! Play action, roll out left. This dude is fast. I had B, but damn it, I got X too. And en Enrique! Enrique Danucci? What are you doing? Third and inches. We're going to Dante Kush. Somebody that I can actually depend on. Golly, what was that? Oh, we got a laser beam though. Sour. He's going to come up big. He's already been big. About 60 yards and a touchdown on that drive. Third and three. We got an opportunity to put in another touchdown right now. Why not, Rutgers? Why not, Rutgers? What do we see here? I'll take the check down in the middle. We'll go to Clawson. Red zone alert. I think this has got Dante Kush written all over it. This touchdown does. Oh, tell you what. It's got Dante Kush written all over it. God, Rutgers is cooking. Red zone alert once again. I mean, and it is the Coyotes. We know they're going to struggle, but this just feels good, man. Just absolutely running up the score on him right here. Let's see what we got. Is it Dante Kush again? He hangs on to the football. It is too easy right now. Another red zone alert. Are you kidding me? If only every game is this easy. That's a post laser. Everybody's getting a touchdown. Murphy, Kush, Sour. Murphy, Kush, Sour. That sounds like a super shitty edible you would buy at the sketchy weed store. All right, first and 10. Let's keep it up, though, because we are killing it. Can we get a playmaker here? Oh, you're actually going to be open, Sour. What a ball, Denton Vaught. 200 yards, four touchdowns. You don't see stat lines like this anymore, you know? Look at this. Coyotes have no answer. They did score, though. I wonder how they scored. I kind of want to give Enrique Danucci a shot. I feel bad. All right, Danucci, I'm giving you another chance. He mosses the Coyote DB. I mean, he sold earlier, so I'm happy that he gets to get back. Third and two. I'm putting one up deep. Murphy. Almost intercepted. It's 35 to 13. We're going to go play action. Wide receiver in. I'm going to hit Murphy on the sideline. 270 yards, five touchdowns, and no interceptions for Denton Vaught right now. And he's fast, too. I mean, I could scramble in a touchdown if I wanted to. We just, we don't need it. Look at these post routes. Oh, Murphy. You gotta hang on to that football, buddy. Let's go dragon stick here. Interesting play call. Denton Vaught. Gotta make something up. Oh my goodness. Almost another drop, though. All right, it's third and goal. Can we convert right here? I'm gonna go into sour. INT for the Coyotes. I'm sorry, Denton Vaught. I just ruined your beautiful stat line. On fourth and eight, the Coyotes want to go for it. And I definitely want to rep on defense. Here's Larry Case. 95 speed linebacker. It's not every day you get to try that out. Regis! <gasps> I got bombed! Stop it. This was supposed to be a blowout. It's kind of a 19 to 35. I don't like this score anymore. Let's do something about this, yeah? Look at that. You're just gonna leave Clawson. 
You're just gonna leave him! You know, we might be setting a Rutgers record right now. Is this a Rutgers record for passing touchdowns? Because if we can get this one in, it's gonna be six. Oh, X, wide open. Enrique Danucci, his second touchdown. It's gotta be, this has gotta be a record for Rutgers, right? Well, just in case it isn't, let's make sure it is, you know? Let's leave no doubt, as they say. Third and four. Leave no doubt! Leave no doubt! Oh, I missed my 99 speed demons. Fourth and four, coach wants to go for this? That's kind of crazy, but okay. Yeah, I like it, coach. That was the easiest pickup of our lifetime. First and goal. Laser? Closen! By the way, for the record, this is why I don't play every single game. Because if I played every single game, you could go to the national championship in the first year. To some degree, you gotta let the sim show you that you built a good program. Fourth and 15, this ball game is beyond over. I'm hopping on 95 speed Larry Case to go play a little bit of defense here. There's a heave, and Sanders! Get some hands on it. And shit, I could go for one more touchdown, couldn't I? Second and eight, we are still gunslinging. I want to be certain that we have a Rutgers record. Record, and you just went out of bounds, so I can't throw to you. We gotta do some Denton Vaught magic. Come on, Denton! Ow! Helmet to the nutsack, it be like that. I kinda want an escape route out of Enrique Danucci. Oh, just kidding. This is a zone coverage, but Clausen! Okay, Denton Vaught's actually ridiculously good. 56 to 19, Rutgers starts the season out with an absolute blowout. Damn near hanging a 60 bomb on the Coyotes. Player of the game, no question. It's Denton Vaught who must have just made a Rutgers record. 21 completions on 30 attempts, 364 yards, and eight touchdowns. Gross. That's disgusting. We spread the ball out so well, too. A touchdown for Daniel Murphy. Two for Dante Kush, two for Clausen, two for Enrique Danucci, and one for Leo Sauer. It's honestly, that's insanely well-distributed football. It ended up being a really strong season for the Scarlet Knights. We actually made the college football playoffs, but lost in the first round. We did become a three-and-a-half star program and landed an 85 overall. Sadly, we did have a big loss to Oregon in the Rose Bowl. Oh, and I take it back. We beat Iowa in the first round, 32 to 30, but sadly taking a loss to Oregon, 28 to 14. They went on to beat Nebraska and then beat Georgia Tech and win the 2034 National Championship. But as you can tell, we can smell that natty. Rutgers is closer and closer than ever, but it's already been 10 years. It's about time we really pull the trigger and do this. Hopefully off season is friendly to all of our players. Hopefully we get some big speed upgrades from our wide receivers. And I almost forgot. Denton Vaught, look at this season, man. 3,500 yards, almost 50 passing touchdowns. 13 interceptions, a little more than we like, right? But that's a really good season. He was our lead rusher. 558 and a touchdown. Insanely, though, we barely handed the football off at all. I have never seen us. A... Oh, I see. It doesn't have Dante Cush's stats in here because Dante Cush technically just graduated. So I think it's just not showing them anymore. So all these stats are gonna look a little weird. Enrique Denucci. She did have a thousand yards and 12 touchdowns though. So that's really, really solid. And look at this. Finally, a powerhouse back on the D-line. Everett Cole with 12 and a half sacks. He's a sophomore, 84 overall. A lot of room to improve for him. Week one of 2035. Is this the year for the Scarlet Knights? We may have one of the best defenses in all of college football. An 89 overall defense. This is anchored by some of the best linebackers you've ever seen. John Boozer, a 90. Kerry Murphy, an 88. Larry Case, an 87. And CJ Lira, an 84. Larry Case with 95 speed. Kerry Murphy with 87 and Boozer with 86. I don't care what running back you have. Somebody is tracking you down. Not to mention we've got an insane D-line as well. Yosefa Savoy, Brian Smith. Thank you so much for that name, Brian. What is this fucking guy talking about? Where's you come from, Bo? You from Yugoslavia? This defense is so loaded. Not to mention Denton Vaught coming into his junior year. He's got more abilities, higher overall, and better stats than he's ever had. At running back, we got Randy Redman, Kevin Vaccaro, and Brian Boyant. They're all right. I'm not gonna lie. It's not our strongest point. Wide receivers are a bit top-heavy. Enrique Danucci's the clear-cut starter. Everybody else looks pretty mediocre. Every single defensive position is just loaded with star players for us right now. I mean, these dudes are studs. The only question is, can Denton Vaught 
not carry us offensively. 82 offense is not exactly national championship material. I had spent all this time building this team. I was so excited for 2035 for Rutgers, and that's when we hosted Auburn. We started the season with a loss, 34 to 18, and I thought that we were gonna have to start over again. I was so worried, and that's when Rutgers went on a tear. Dominating the Sharks, breezing past the Boilermakers, an eight-point win over Louisiana Tech, an 11-point win over Minnesota, dominating the Fighting Illini, dominating Penn State, walking into Buckeye Stadium, and dominating in Week 8. And that ridiculous win streak continued until a massive shutout domination by the Oregon Ducks, 41-0 against Rutgers. We did close out the season by doing the same thing to Maryland, barely squeaking past Iowa, and a double-digit victory over Washington leads the Scarlet Knights to a massive Big Ten Championship against the University of Michigan Wolverines. This would give us a bye in the college football playoffs. I love beating Michigan anyway, and a chance at the national championship. The season has been awesome. The morale in our guys is so high. We're an 87 overall right now with an 84 offense and a 90 defense. This defense is, is thooming. Our top three players are all left outside linebackers. Can you wrap your head around that? Randy Redmond's up to an 87 overall right now. Denton Vaught's got five abilities as a junior, 83 overall. It's time to take on the University of Michigan in the Big Ten Championship and hopefully get a bye in the college football playoffs to have a matchup be Rutgers versus Michigan. And we actually have an equal defense is crazy. That is such a cool thing to see. All right, gentlemen, it's Big Ten football. I'm gonna play the moments in this game until it's time to let the Sim take over. They are gonna let me start out with this starting drive though. Randy Redman, Enrique Danucci, Jake Clausen. I'm gonna step up with Vaught. You gotta remember just how fast Denton Vaught is, dude. Absorbs a big hit. It's first and 10. Gotta be careful about wear and tear too though. I know Michigan plays good defense. See if we can get a little separation here. First and 10. Nobody's separating and that D-line. Oh my God. Second and 22. We're rocking Wildcat Jet Sweep. See what we can get here. There's Vaccaro. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Michigan blitzes up the middle. A 51-yard Wildcat Jet Sweep. Oh, what a play. I can't believe that. First and 10. This is a beautiful start to this football game. I see the Texas route. There's Randy Redman. It'll take us down to second and inches. We should easily be able to pick this up. Hey, second and inches. Great opportunity to take a shot at the end zone. We know we can pick up this first down. So let's, let's do it. Let's take a shot. There's Webb. Hangs on to the football. Touchdown, Rutgers. We are the first to score in this Big Ten Championship. Now, defense needs my help a little scary we literally have the best linebacker group in the entire nation i have no doubt about that and there's 95 speed larry case jumping on top of that second and eight michigan's got a lot of star offensive linemen though very grateful to have these speed linebackers right now because we know michigan wants to run the football god look at that look at how many stars they have on that old line norman's gonna fly down they find their halfback nice pass michigan scored another touchdown now it's third and six is uh is it a jet sweep what are we looking at here Damn, why are you so open? Good hit. Michigan scores again. We got a two-minute drill. It's time to go score the football. This play was effective last time. Denton Vaught. Oh, my God. These guys are fast. Second and ten. We're going to try and run the football here. Oh, good-looking blocks. Excellent-looking blocks. Redmond will take that for a first down. Mm. Vacate the middle. Redmond can't hang on. Michigan is no joke right now. Let's just take the easy throw here to Enrique Danucci. First and 10, the classic. Five wide, four verticals. I don't even have time to throw the check down. Damn. Second and 10. Yeah, this is not the Coyotes. I repeat, this is not the Coyotes. I'm going to step up with Denton Vaught, and he's going to make a play with his legs. Massive. First and 10, we're gonna take this little check down. Take three yards. Second and seven. Take the easy one once again. Nice little juke. Slow, methodical drive right now for the Scarlet Knights. We really need a touchdown here though. Down by two possessions. I think they get the ball at half. Denton Vaught, that offensive line finally crumbled under the pressure. Second and 14, big blitz, good lord. Take a quick pass into McCollum, it's fourth and eight. Fourth and eight, I'm going for it, this is real risky. But Denton Vaught's got a lot of room, this is gonna work. 
Do I try it? I'm gonna try it. It works one time against the Coyotes. Now I think I'm him. Hey, that was a crazy pickup though. First and goal. Let's try and make this a one possession game. 13 seconds here. And that's a double team on the left side. I might be able to do it again. God, you're fast, but not fast enough. Denton Vaught, scramble merchant. Wow, that was a scary drive, but it worked out. The next moment for us is a third down alert. What's the score? Oh my God, are you serious? The next moment I get, it's 14 to 35. Jesus, absolute bummer. We'll shuffle left and get in a nice pass to Enrique Danucci. I just don't see how this game is winnable. We just turned the ball over, I'm pretty sure. No, wait a minute. It's 21 to 35 and it's our ball. They're bringing me in to try and keep this drive alive. A lot of blitzers. I have to throw this. Oh my God. <laughs> Damn it. Couldn't make anything out of it. And I think Michigan just scored. No, they didn't. Wait a minute. This game is literally still alive. It's very scary, but it is still alive. Got all of our timeouts too. And there's Clausen. Making a nice catch. Not our best route runner, but hey, we'll take those. God, what I would do for a 99 speed guy right now, man. Save the day. Okay. No, he's so open. I need you, O-line. I need you. Third and two, Enrique Danucci is in press coverage. I think he got his man just by a bit. He does. Enrique Danucci. We don't need a 99 speed. We just need Danucci. Ben Danucci's little brother is a dog. Holy shit, and he got that in the end zone? This game is not over. First and 10 with two minutes, 16 seconds. If we can hold Michigan, they gotta be running this football. Let's bring Nortman down. This has gotta be a run. First and, it's not. Oh shit. I'm so shocked. And he caught that? Second and two, that's the two minute warning. This has gotta be a run, right? It's just gotta be. There it is. There's the run. We got a lot of bodies. Third and three. No need to burn a timeout right now. They're gonna they're gonna use that clock. That's fine. We knew that was coming. I'm on Sanders for maybe another run. What's Michigan got? It's another run. We knew it would be, but there's Larry Case! Fourth and one! Larry Case just made, oh my god, this game is winnable. 28 to 35. We could we could tie it up or we could go for two if we score. Randy Redmond's back there to return it. Nobody wants to block. Good lord. Why is it that every gunner is untouched? A minute seven. We could go for two. I'm tempted. If we score here, I'm tempted to go for two. Let's try and worry about scoring here first, though. First and ten. Gotta play smart. Gotta find the open man. Man coverage is so tough against Michigan for me, dude. But luckily, Denton Vaught is just... We're going to have to get him on the respirator after this. He is hauling ass. 64 yards on 11 carries right now. Okay. Randy Redman is wide open out of the backfield. A little bit of a blown coverage by Michigan there. This game was looking cooked. It was 35 to 14 at one point. But the Scarlet Knights are clawing back. It ain't over till it's over, though. We got to play smart. And that is not playing smart. Bad pass. Luckily, no clock ticks. Second attempt on a block, Clausen. Good blocks here. Randy Redman. What a catch. Needed that so badly, and he delivered. We can hand this off. Just reset these chains. Third and inches. Three down linemen, really good blocks. Redman, what? I have never spun right in front of someone and had it work before. Punt, Redman, you deserve this, buddy. Oh, boy, at the backup is in, but still. Oh my God, are you shitting me? In what fucking universe? Can we watch that again? What, what are you, Jadevian Clowny? What is that? Whatever, hey, you know what? This is probably better. It's probably better that we use some clock here. Uh, that way Michigan has no chance of scoring. Second and goal. We're doing the classic. Now we have a scary, scary, scary decision. 34 to 35. I'm gonna be honest, guys. I think Michigan is the better team. And when you're playing the better team, you go for two every single time because the better team's gonna win in the long run. So if we have a chance to steal this game, I think we gotta take it right now. Two point conversion. I'm looking for Denton Vaught to scramble. That's what we need here. We need a Denton Vaught scramble. Two point conversion. 34 to 35 against the Wolverines. Double team on the left side. He gets off it. Denton Vaught breaks a tackle. He's still up. Throws to the end zone. Intercepted. Dude, there's a fucking double team on this edge rusher. And the second I start moving, he just sheds them both like they're little children. Oh, it was a risky decision and it's not going to pay off for us here. We're going to have to onside kick and we may lose to Michigan now. That is so annoying. Oh. Oh my God, I thought that was our football. Oh my God, what a brutal. 
brutal loss. Absolutely brutal loss there. We really tried. We tried so hard to claw back there. Like, take a look at this. So we got a double team on the left side here. I'm trying to scramble off the left side. It looks so free. The second I start to move, look at that. He just teleports. And the, and the double team breaks. He's engaged. He's engaged. Teleport. What? Just keep blocking him. You have this dude body bagged. What? I think the good news, honestly, I think we still go to the college football playoffs. Even though we lost to Michigan there, we might have a chance at redemption against them. The Heisman is the quarterback we just played, Lindell Foster for Michigan. 51 touchdowns, 7 interceptions. Damn. Oh my god, what? BYU versus Rutgers in the college football playoff. This is sick. Oh, I don't want to get banned on Twitch, so I won't soak in too many Mormon jokes. Ah! Um, polygamy, soaking, Joseph Smith, um, you, um, I don't know any other Mormon jokes. That's all I got. BYU. Let me look at this bracket, bro. I want redemption against Michigan so badly. Okay, so we are not on the same side of the bracket as Michigan. If we beat BYU, we play Middle Tennessee. What is going on? Look at this bracket. Have you ever seen a bracket like this? So we beat BYU, we play Middle Tennessee. We beat Middle Tennessee. It's either Kentucky, Nebraska, or Bama. And the only chance for redemption against Michigan is if they go all the way to the national championship. I pray that happens. We got a significant overall advantage on BYU. This should be a W. Oh my God, our first... First college football playoff game here is in the snow. BYU versus Rutgers. Who would have thought, gentlemen? I had a massive impact on that Michigan game. We still lost by a point. I got to take my hands off the wheel for this one, and it's not looking good right now. Se okay, 7-7, seven to seven, BYU 7-14, seven 7-21, seven but it looks like BYU might be about to score. Let me tell you one thing. I know everything about this BYU offense. This is inside zone. I take it back. I don't know shit. BYU! Flushed out! And that's a big sack for the Scarlet Knights. 21 to 7. BYU's got a black lefty kicker. Joseph Smith didn't say shit about that. Does he drill it? 21 to 10. He does. It is 13 to 21. Rutgers with an eight-point lead. Red zone alert. Denton fought over the middle, dropped, and almost intercepted. You gotta come down with that football, buddy. This is college football playoffs. I'm gonna be honest, this is such a weird matchup. Now we're running slip screen and whiffing it. Are we a playoff team or not, Rutgers? BYU may have the better record, but we are ranked higher in the nation. Denton Vaught! Said, I'm gonna do it myself! Down to the three yard line. Psycho. And now Rutgers in I formation. I love to see I formation, baby. The backup that is not Randy Redman, but it doesn't matter because he's in the end zone. The Knights may go for two here as well. No, they elect to take the PAT, take a 15 point lead. And dude, it is so funny. The winner of this game goes to play Middle Tennessee. And just like that, Rutgers pulled away and pulled away fast. 41 to 16. BYU is going to go home sad, looking for a poverty touchdown here. Holy shit. I don't know if you can call that a poverty touchdown. We just got torched down there. Oh my God, what a touchdown. But it's too little too late for the Cougars. And Rutgers is going to take this first college football playoff game. That's a playoff game win, gentlemen. Pass BYU and on to Middle Tennessee State. You know, some people would call this a Mickey Mouse run. Um, You would be completely correct. This is a complete Mickey Mouse run. If I play Alabama after this game, it's going to start to get real scary. Brian Smith, Big Ten Defensive Player of the Week, baby. It's the, dude, the Fiesta Bowl. Middle Tennessee Blue Raiders are sixth in the nation. This is so cool. I love this game, bro. Middle Tennessee's an 85 overall. We have a defensive advantage. They have a significant offensive advantage. Middle Tennessee, the Blue Raiders. I gotta go back to the sim for this one, too. I'm gonna save my input for Alabama if we can get there. Dude, on the opening drive, we punt the ball away, but Middle Tennessee State fumbles on their own six-yard line. Oh, and a little RPO to Clausen. He's slow, but he's strong enough to get in the end zone. Once again, Ruck striking first let's go that was a crucial fumble for middle tennessee as a that's a bad fumble one play 70 yards four seconds that makes it nice and easy for us still seven to zero we got a safety another touchdown un dude holy shit middle tennessee is getting utterly dominated 33 to 10 ruckers dude like this is the thing i mean it, it is a mickey mouse run but it makes me wonder how the hell did middle tennessee get here they're third in the nation supposedly they're 11 and 2 they got a buy so the, i mean they they must have done something in 
insane, but it's all falling apart right now. Here's a handoff. Rutgers got our backup half back in, just kind of milking the clock right now with Kevin Vaccaro. It's a 23 point lead. I think we hand this ball off one more time and just kick a field goal. Let's see what Rutgers has got. Third and six. There's one more handoff stuffed by the Blue Raiders. And yeah, we're going to take this field goal and walk out of this game with another win. Absolutely drills the field goal. Good reps. Good reps. Middle Tennessee puts up one more touchdown, but it's too little too late. That's a huge victory. 36 to 17. This defense is showing off right now. They're showing why they deserve to be here. Denton Vaught gets player of the game, 180 yards and three touchdowns. Another playoff game winner. And what do you know? I, I mean, I figured it had to be Alabama, right? The All-State Sugar Bowl. And all of a sudden, our competition just got a lot steeper. We play BYU, we play Middle Tennessee State, and now we're taking on the Alabama Crimson Tide. Alabama's rocking a hard 90 overall. Their quarterback is a raw 99 overall Junior, shut the fuck up. Jalen Mabin, he's got another year? Oh my God, he's got almost a 99 in every single throw stat. He's an improviser. He's got 87 speed, 87 excel. Halfback is a demon, Damian Horn. Mike Glizzy, sophomore middle linebacker. This team is gross. Anthony Akior, platinum tier layout, 99 speed. Trent Tompkins, platinum tier double dip, 99 speed. This team is horrifying. They have two 99 speed guys, a 98 and 97. Seven at the stop it. This team is disgusting. I am not trying to see any of this shit. I'm going to have to step in and help the boys on this one, or this is going to be a train wreck. Let's play the moments here against Alabama. All right, opening drive, zero to zero, third and seven. We could get a stop right now. I'm on Larry Case. There's Jalen Mabin looking to make a play, and he does. Alabama scored on that drive, but they've got me in for a moment here. I think Enrique Danucci, if that's man coverage, it's not, but that means Clawson's open, and we just did this pass rush is going to be brutal. Hey, I love my O-line. I'm proud of them, but dude, I get it. These Bama boys are built differently. Second and 10. Here they come. Oh, I got X. I have him. Oh, I was so horrified in that pocket. I couldn't get that off. Third and 10. Third and 10. Big play right here. I got to go to Clausen. He's got it. Dude, Jake Clausen has like 67 speed, but this guy is so unbelievably clutch when it comes down to securing the football. First and goal. And shit, I almost trusted him again, but guess what? Denton Vaught got a lane up the middle. You could have drove a truck through that hole. Let's go. Hopefully I get another moment before Bama puts up a ton of points. 14 to seven, they put up more points. I might be looking at Clausen once more. Honestly, I could have, but we can take this right here. Knee close. I'm going to be honest. This entire season, I have never seen you before right now. That is our backup tight end. I have no idea who that is, bro. All right, delayed, and guess what, baby? Denton Vaught, scrambling merchant, is back at it again. Tying this ball game up. Our next moment is a third down alert. It's 14 to 14, third and seven. Massive play right here. Honestly, Clausen might be my guy once more. That looks like it's a flag on Alabama. No, they're calling a false start on Rutgers. Shit. Now third and 12. This does not look nearly as good. Let's get a good audible here. We're going to go tight end attack. Classic play here. Third and 12. Delayed blitz. Nobody picks it up. But Denton Vaught. Denton Vaught. I had Clausen wide open. Denton Vaught just made the play of a lifetime though. Holy shit. First and 10. That was unbelievable. Here's Redman. My absolute favorite back we've ever had on Rutgers. He's not got good averages right now, though. It's Alabama. I get it. Second and six. See if we can get a push. We have the numbers here. Three down linemen. We've got the numbers. Redman is in the end zone. Rutgers is on top. It's a big third down. We got to make the stop. I just noticed in a cut scene on the other side of the bracket right now. Guess who? It's North Carolina and the University of Michigan. Alabama goes slip screen here. That's not going to be enough. Fourth and eight. If Michigan beats North Carolina and we beat Alabama, I'm going to get my redemption. Third and four. Let's have a big play here, gentlemen. There's Clausen. So, so clutch. He's the slowest man on the field at any given time, and he's unbelievably clutch. First and ten. This time we're going to hit Redmond, see if he can make a play. Drag down. Wear and tear is ruining Redmond right now. He has minus seven speed. Yikes. He's feeling it now, Mr. Crab. Second and 10. We need a big play, though. Can't think about that right now. Good blocking. The QB spy. Alabama's catching on. They know what we want to do. We can always settle for a field goal here. Do not need to do anything super aggressive right now. Third and nine. I'm going to hand this off to Redmond. We're going to take this field goal unless he can miracle break this. 
I saw the safety. I tried to make something crazy happen. We're going to take this field goal fourth and 11. Oh, don't miss this, Matt. Don't miss this. <laughs> Wasn't my best kick, but it's three points. Rutgers on top. All we need is a stop, gentlemen. 24 to 17, Larry Case, the 95 speed linebacker. Almost intercepted. Second and 10, Bama looks like they're running this football. They're not, it's like a bench concept. He's gonna check it down to the running back. And I reacted so poorly to that. I don't know why, I'm sorry. I gotta step it up, third and one. We gotta blitz here. I expect to run, third and one. Larry Case, we gotta make a huge play right here. Buddy, we do! The best line! Linebackers in college football just made a massive play. Fourth and four, and Bama is punting. You all, yeah, I mean, they got their three timeouts. There is the two minute warning, but damn, you almost go for this. Redmond's got the football, but with wear and tear, he's not a very good punt returner right now. He's honestly, he's quite useless. Bama is loading the box up. They do not want to let us run this football, understandably, but there's the backup tight end, Niklos. He's gonna take eight yards. Our tight ends have been essential to the game plan right now. We're gonna hit shoe clock and hopefully just pick up an easy first down here with Randy Redmond. Dude, I'm kind of scared of using Redmond right now though because I'm gonna need him for this next game if we can win here. Second and two, good looking blocks. Redmond gets the first down. We are a few touchdowns away from heading to the national championship. First and 10, Alabama doesn't look like they're ready for this stretch. They're not at all. That was the worst defense they could have been in but I can't risk an injury. Go down. Redmond, that was a horrible defense by Alabama. No situational awareness. First and 10. That's what happens when you don't have Nick Saban anymore. Tell you what. I cannot believe Redmond is still in. One more first down and this game is over. Second and three. There's the handoff. Gigantic lane. Get down, Redmond! This game is over. Victory formation for Denton Vaught. Rutgers is going to the national championship. That's a Sugar Bowl win over Alabama. Oh, please tell me Michigan won. Please tell me Michigan won. Player of the game is Vaught, no doubt. Please tell me Michigan won. I want this redemption on Michigan so bad. Please tell me. One win away from salvation, gentlemen. The college football national championship. Come on! I love of a good script writer. We lose by Michigan by one single point because I failed to convert a two-point conversion in the Big Ten Championship. And now in the natty, I have a chance for redemption. Come on, gentlemen. One final game for the rest of our lives here. The year is 2035. After 11 long years of rebuilding the Scarlet Knights, they're finally in a position to potentially win the national championship. Their opponent is the University of Michigan Wolverines, who they lost to by a single point in the Big Ten Championship. But luckily, the scriptwriters are in their bag, giving Rutgers another chance to take down the number one ranked Wolverines and become national champions. One thing I can tell you for certain, gentlemen, is my cock is hard. All right, gentlemen, just the moments against Michigan. First and 10, there's Redmond on the Texas route. A diabolical route, to say the least. Let's play with speed. Let's play with pace. Let's win this football game. First and 10. Ooh, just kidding. Nobody rushes the quarterback faster than Michigan's D-line. I don't even think it matters if their D-line's good. They're just, it's like, it's like a superpower or some shit. Okay, well, you are super open. Except you drop the football. Okay, here we go. Well, there's a wide open Redman. He's doing everything for us right now. First and 10. Look who's open again, but can you hang on to the football this time? Michigan's defense playing really good, breaking up the football. These are tough catches, but we should be coming down with them. In the national championship, you got to come down with some contested catches, gentlemen. Luckily, Randy Redman is legitimately putting this team on his back. He's my only source of offense right now. Third and three. Let's keep things simple. There's Ehlers in the middle. We'll take the first down. We'll keep moving this rock. Pocket collapsing, good Lord. And Redman. He's literally my old offense. I love you, Randy. All right, let's take a shot. Play action post. See if we can't find the end zone here. I'm gonna look for Niklos on the corner route. First and 10. He's gonna clear on the left side. There's Ehlers again. He did catch it. Kind of looked like he didn't catch that football. First and goal. Denton Vaught. Kevin Vaccaro, speed option to the right side. There's the pitch. Caught it in stride. Vaccaro. A stiff arm to put the icing on the cake. Rucker strikes first. Let's go. Go. Third and three. Defense needs my help. I'm happy to oblige. Larry Case. It's a draw. What the fuck? What did he just do? He was so down. I had two D tackles on him. Oh my goodness. First and 10. Michigan still got the football. 
That's another handoff. Second and seven, good stop. Are they just gonna keep running this thing? I'm on Larry Case. The best linebacker group in the nation is all over that, third and seven. That is not an exaggeration. This is the best linebacker group in the nation. Now third and seven. A little motion, a little play action. Michigan has got nothing! Pass rush gets home. Fourth and 11. That's a field goal. It's seven to three. We're back on defense, third and seven. Larry Case, 95 speed, stud linebacker. Rifles in a window, dropped. Fourth and seven. Offense goes up short again. Michigan is in the red zone again. First and goal. I was hoping you... <gasps> Why didn't you jump? Oh my God, I'm right on that football. She doesn't jump or animate. He just put his left hand up and watched it. Third and five, Michigan's on top. It's a big third down too. That's probably not that open, but I gotta throw something. Can't catch a break anywhere. You gotta play a perfect game or you can't beat Michigan. Third and five, look at this dude. Look at this dude. Yeah, defense needs my help, you don't say. Second and goal, do we think this is QB draw? I kinda do. It's not. He checks it down. He's not in the end zone. Oh, uh, could this be a run up the middle? Maybe. Third and goal, it is! Stuffed! What a play! Michigan's gonna kick this field goal 7-10. This could be a fake, I guess. I'm not ready for it if it is. They drill the field goal, 7-13. That's a huge goal line stand, though. It's a huge goal line stand. Tell me how we're back on defense with 26 seconds left. Did we just fumble the kick return? Oh, my God. It's insta laser. Fuck this game. What? What? Oh, how did they possibly get the ball in zero seconds? 13 points to make up for. Ehlers! Huge catch. Now in the red zone. Come on, boys. We need everything. Everything we got here. This is not going to be an easy game. Clausen! He's got space! Caught! Jake Clausen! Oh, here we go! Here we go! Tell me it's possible to win. Please tell me it's possible to win. Next time I see the football, it's 14 to 26. Could you cut me a little bit of fucking slack, please? 14 to 26. Scrambling right with Vaught. There's a wide open Ehlers! Rutgers Tutty! 21 to 26. The game is on the line. Make a stop here. First and 10. Michigan's already damn near in, in the red zone. God, I'm over it. There's Larry Case, fastest linebacker in the nation. Second and 11. Michigan's chewing the clock, and he's gonna hand this puppy off. He's going absolutely nowhere. We don't gotta burn any timeouts. No need. Third and 13? Oh my gosh, it's another run. I thought that, wow, they're just gearing up for the field goal. I guess it does give them an eight point lead, meaning guess what? Oh, what? Punt? They're not kicking a 53? Oh my God. Wait a minute, Michigan might've just sold the game. I'm not sure about the ruling on that, if I'm being honest but Redmond is a Texas route god right now. We got a chance to win the ball game right now with the touchdown. First and 10. We got to use some clock here. I can't let Michigan have the football with any time. They're going to do some wizardry, bro. Look at those blocks. Second and five. A great five yards right there. Now Michigan's not playing around. Look at this defense, dude. Okay, well, Redmond's got an easy one, but he can go block for me. Ooh, okay, that's fine. First and 10, our Michigan redemption. Come on, boys. There's Redmond. That's a horrible pass. Completely covered. Clock is ticking. Three interceptions right now for Vaughn. Jeez. Second and 11. We need a big play. We need a big play. Who's going to be open? Ehlers. Ehlers. He's single covered, but he caught it. Oh my God. He caught it. Jeffrey Ehlers. Under a minute left. Down by five to Michigan, who already beat us once. The national championship. We're going inside zone to our bell cow, Randy Redman. Juke broken ankle he's gonna take nine yards and this clock is still ticking we need no time on that clock when we score it's getting really really scary we're gonna get this off to redmond we're gonna have a downfield block from clausen i don't think that got us any extra yards but it worked it's a first down it's getting real scary double team on the left side is exactly what we want to see vaught's gonna roll out can i get a block downfield vaught End zone! Rutgers is on top! And we gotta go for two! I guess not. I don't know what just happened. It simmed it. It's first and ten. Apparently we went for two and did not get it. Fifteen seconds. Home! A sack! Lindell Foster goes down. Second and sixteen. Oh my god, that was huge. Larry Case dropping back in coverage. They'll take the check down. That's beautiful. We love that. They have to burn a timeout. Michigan is in Hail Mary. 26 to 27. I'm on Larry Case. We're guessing pass. We need some pass rush. Why is he so open? 
Did he catch that? Oh my god, I think he caught that. But the clock ran out. Rutgers is national champions. Poetic justice. Michigan beats us by one point in the Big Ten championship. And now Rutgers hoisting the most important championship. The national championship by one point. Oh my god. Dude, that literally took all of my determination to win it. And the player of the game, none other than Randy Redman. He deserved it. The national championship. Lindell Foster, the Heisman. Three touchdowns. Played a great game. No turnovers from him. The reason you won that game, though, Randy Redmond. Jeffrey Ehlers. Jake Clausen. Leo Sauer. That's why you won that game. Two and a half sacks out of Brian Smith. Honestly, the fact that we threw three interceptions still won is insane. Also, would you look at this? What the fuck? Who wants to tell me why the final score is saying 28 to 27? How did Michigan score two points in the fourth quarter? Who wants to tell me that? Wow, Michigan cheating, huh? What are the odds? What are the odds? Luckily, it did fix itself. National champions, you've won the college football playoff national championship. 27 to 26, baby, let's go. First in the nation, four star program, 14 and three season. Rutgers is national champions. God, it feels so good. It feels so good. Yo, let's check out the record books. We have to have multiple Rutgers records. We have to. Well, Keenan Harper now has the passing touchdown game record for the Big Ten. That's when I threw eight. I kind of cheesed that. I'm not going to lie. I did. Denton Vaught has Rutgers career passing yards record. He's only a junior. He has a whole nother season. That's crazy. He also has passing touchdowns, and that's it for records. We still got to check game and season, though. Looks like Alec Hayes has the most passing yards for records. Wow, he only played one season. Vaught has passing touchdowns, and Daniel Murphy has, whoa, that was this season. Daniel Murphy, 17. Ray Rice played at Rutgers? What? Learn something new every day. It's time to sim a full season on autopilot. See just how well we set this team up. Following season, we're ranked 17th in the nation. We went nine and four, not bad. We didn't make the college football playoffs, but a nine and four season's really good. See how this roster ended. Yeah, honestly, we seriously did get the overall up. The program stars, we got up one and a half. 85 overall. We got this defense so good, bro. Brian Boyett is a 92 overall at halfback. Larry Case, one of our incredible linebackers now as a senior. Boyett is only a junior too. He can still get better. Oh, this team's nasty. Honestly, I think I'm most happy that we did this without any speed, like crazy speed demon players. We do have Trent Shoemaker, a 98 speed corner, but it's not like we had any glitch wide receivers. Uh, only at one point in this whole rebuild did we have a glitch wide receiver? And I didn't do that much with him. Actually, by the way, though, looking at our wide receivers, like how the fuck did I get wide receivers so bad? How did I do so poorly? Not a single one of these guys has even 90 speed. It's impressive to be this bad at getting wide receivers. I will say that. But we got a national championship under our belt and we got a 99 speed right guard. What an awesome rebuild. I love you guys. This was a blast and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Peace.